Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. So the training was supposed to be finished in the previous video, but as I said, if there is something interesting that I would like to tell you, I will record a video. And uh, there is something that we missed uh, here that's really important when we are trying to give our API to other people. How do we document the endpoints that we have? For that, we are going to use Spring Doc Open API. It's uh, supported by, uh, it supports Spring Boot and uh, also open api version 3 so you have actually two options you have spring doc open api and you have spring fox so if you search for spring fox you will see that there are two different projects this one and the next let me just finish this one so uh, we have spring fox and we have that spring doc open api so I think the last time I checked, Spring Fox does not fully support OpenAPI 3. So the support that we have for OpenAPI 3 with Spring Doc OpenAPI, it's actually better. So for now, I'm going to go with this project. So basically, we are going to add this dependency. And by adding this dependency, we will have access. Now we just start my project. We will have access to this swagger-ui.html. You can change this if you want. This step is optional. I will leave the default one. So when you start your application, you have a couple of things. First, if you access localhost 8080 and then you go to Swagger UI HTML, it's going to ask the login because we secured our application in previous videos. If we go to the config, security config, so this configuration is being applied to that endpoint as well. We could let it go, but it's a good idea to protect it. So I will use William Academy. And then we have access to our endpoints. So as you can see here, uh, we have all the endpoints available in the controller. And uh, we have also some schemas available. So there are some things here that we would like to, to hide. For example, if we try to get all the enemies, you will see here, increase a little bit the font size, that we have this Pageable. So the first problem here is that uh, Swagger here, this op the Spring Doc dash Open API, is considering the Pageable as something required to execute this request. So if we try to execute, you'll get here one uh, internal server error because this is not supposed to be sent like this. And uh, if you go here to the IntelliJ, that Pageable is not actually required. So there are a couple of things that we can do. First, we can add, for example, uh, add parameter, and we can just tell hidden true. When we do this, if we have a spring set to restart every time we have frame deactivation, and we refresh the page, Okay, so it looks like the caps lock is on. Let me go to Academy. Okay, so let me restart application. Great. Localhost 8080 slash swagger UI for the GML. So by doing this, uh, we can see that there are no parameters. So when we try and we execute, now we get uh, our content and we have the response here exactly the way we got from Postman. But we have another problem. If we come here to uh, find, not find which one. Yeah, so we have this authentication uh, principle on find by ID that we also would like to hide. So basically, we have two problems here. One is this authentication principle and another one that is this page book. Fortunately for us, this uh, Spring Doc supports that operation. So we just have to add a couple more dependencies. These dependencies is here. One for page book is this open API data rest. So we basically just add this one to the POM file as well. 
let's add down here and this one for security exactly what we have been trying to hide this authentication principle then we can hide it this from here and we have inside the properties so now let's uh, restart our application and at the anime controller I will remove this at parameter hidden now let's come to swagger let's refresh the page we have to sign in again and then if we go to enemies ID as you can see we don't have that user details anymore and when we execute not found because we don't have an ID but we can execute a post here try it out the ID here we don't care but here add name we could use anything so the anime was created ID 4 we come here and we search for ID 4 and we have our response so another thing that may be useful for you is uh, what if you would like to add some documentation for the, the schema so because all the endpoints for example when you are trying to execute a post here you get this uh, kind of schema and you can tell for example hey if you want to execute a request not this one down here the schema so if you want to execute a request uh, to this this is what you should send so that is a couple of things that we can uh, do inside our domain class so for example let's go back here domain anime and you can add here at schema from io swagger v3 and then you can add here for example one description animes name and you could add for example one example now I will add a different one and then we can tell hey this is also required let's uh, wait until it loads the application let's refresh and now you can see here that we have the example value and then when we go to schema it's this is also coming from this annotation javax dot not empty and we have now the example and some description and another thing is uh, imagine that you would like to give a, a better description for the get let's say that you are trying to find and uh, you are not saying anything here related to the page in a sorting and you would like to add some description uh, to this endpoint so how can we do that well let's go to anime controller inside anime controller you just have to add um, API operation I will do for the delete because I want to explain a different uh, thing now actually let's do for both one delete and one here for the list home we can add open uh, API no it's operation not open API definition open API definition would be for the controller class so operation and then we can add here summary uh, this one we can add list all enemies paginated and sorted and then we can add a description where we tell uh, to use pagination and sort at the params page and a number and sort sending the field to the URL and there is uh, something cool that's the tag so that is this tags where you can group even if they are kind of in a different uh, different endpoints different controllers so for example I will tag here with anime now I'll come back here this is a uh, list always not defined so this one is the one that we are looking let's 
refresh the page you can see here that we are grouping in a different section we can get our enemies and now we have a nice description here and this one it works just be careful because the sort is sorting by string this will fail because there is no string there so we would need to change this to name for example and as you can see here we have the content and you have the URL that was generated for the API and another thing um, it's the a API response sometimes you would like to tell hey this is going to return like 204 for 404 500 so we have these API responses and uh, we can add here several ones by adding value and then add API response So the delete will return 204 and if we return 204 it means that successful operation but if it return 404 it means anime was not found or if you want to kind of just copy and paste everywhere just add like not found let's uh, see now so the result as you can see here we only have the 200 but now when we refresh and if we go to the delete we have here the responses 204 and 404 so you can play with this guy it's uh it's pretty cool it will make the life uh, of everyone trying your api easier oh and there is something really cool as well if you add here v3 slash api dash docs it will generate the specification of your entire controller so basically everything that you see there in the swagger html page you can see it here so you can generate uh, your classes through a swagger code generator for example and if you add .yaml it will just download the yaml version of that of this json file so this is everything that I have to tell you in this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.